Good day to everyone. In this video, we shall see about the test case and test scenarios. Test scenario, it is a high level documentation which explains how the application functionality works. Whereas the test cases, it is a detailed explanation or a documentation of any of the test scenario. Suppose we are testing any of the application. The test scenario, it says that why did the login feature with valid credentials? It only tells us what needs to be done. Whereas the test case, it tells us how to test it. It will be having the step by step procedure. The test case, it will be like open the browser, enter the URL, enter valid login ID, then enter valid password, then click on login button. This is how the test case looks like. If we have the understanding of an application, then we can test it by looking into the test scenarios. But if we don't know the application, then we should have the test cases which will give us the step by step procedure of what needs to be done. What if we do not write the test cases or the document the test cases? If we do not write or we document the test cases, we may face some of the drawbacks such as inconsistency in the test execution. Uh, suppose in your first release, you tested around 500 test cases, but you have not documented it. Then you have released the software to the customer. And when it comes to the second release, you could not remember all the test cases which you had executed in the first release. Since we had not documented it, by looking into the requirement, now we'll test the application only for 350 test cases. And during the third release, we could only remember around 300 test cases. Here you can see there is no consistency in test case execution. This is happening because we have not written down or documented the test cases. Another drawback is there will be no uh, good test coverage. That is we won't be able to cover all positive and negative test scenarios. Another main drawback of not writing the test cases or documenting the test cases is the testing it will depend on the mode of the test engineer. If the mode of the test engineer is good, he will come up with different test scenarios and he will test the application. Whereas if the mode of the test engineer is not good, he would not be able to come up with the different uh, test scenarios or he may miss some of the test scenarios to test the application. And also the test engineers, if we do not remember all the requirements, there are chances that he might miss some of the scenarios. So if you have document that is the test cases, irrespective of what the mode of the test engineer is, even though if the test engineer is new to the team or whoever it is, they can correctly test all the scenarios by looking into the document. If we do not write the test case or document the test case, then the testing, it varies from person to person. Some of the test engineers, they may do good and some of them, they may not do good. Now let us see, when do we write the test cases? Whenever the customer gives the requirement, the development team, they will start writing the code. Meanwhile, the test engineers, they will look into the requirement. And by looking into the requirement, they will start writing the test cases. That is, they will understand the requirement and then they will start writing the test cases. And if, and if there is any changes in the requirement, that is when the customer he asks for the changes or the modification in the requirement at that time the test engineers they should update the test cases it may not be possible to write all the test cases or the test scenarios for the requirement so while doing the testing if we come across any of the scenarios then such scenarios it must be documented or it must be updated in the document we write the test cases to have the better test coverage. If we have written the test cases, it will be helpful if there is any uh, new test engineers who joins the team in the middle of the project. He can go through that test cases or the test scenarios and he can understand the requirement of the customer. And then he can start testing by following the uh, test case procedures. Here the company, they will depend on the process rather than the person. If we have written down this test cases, any test engineers, he can understand the application uh, by looking into the document. And then they can start testing uh, by looking into the procedure. Here 
we may not depend on any one person who can understand the requirement. Since we have the written document, the, it is not dependent on the a person, rather than the, it is dependent on the process. If you are testing the application only by looking into the requirement, chances are there that you might miss some of the scenarios. So we should always document it so that the coverage it will be good. And also there will be consistency in testing. The test cases, it should always be written in the test case template. Each company, they will be having a unique test case templates. Thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss any of the videos or updates. Thank you.